Augustus here. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we've just had breakfast on this balcony here behind me. We had a traditional Sri Lankan breakfast cooked by our host. We had pancakes and egg hoppers, some fruit, some mango and pineapple juice and some tea of course. We took some photos and now I'm just waiting for the rain to die off so I can fly the drone and get some good aerial shots of the area because it's very scenic around here. We are in a town in the mountains in Sri Lanka called Ella. We spent the night here and we have one more night and then we're heading further down south. This is the lovely view of the balcony. I showed you it last night but it's a bit clearer to see now that it's the morning. And it... No, it's still not finished raining. This is where we had breakfast and here's the drone just waiting to go up. Not yet though. <laughs> oh and there's a chipmunk up here. Last night it ate some biscuits and try to drag this tablecloth away. Actually, it looks like it might have been trying to do that again this morning. Cheeky little thing. cloud so we took the drone up which was good and now we've just got a time lapse going getting all this cloud coming in it's looking really good nice hopefully it comes out well i have been known to take time lapses when they come out black good morning everyone it's a new day here in ella so yesterday we spent the morning catching up on some work stuff because we had that to do. That took the whole morning and then after that around 2pm we decided to head into the town of Ella where we did a bit of shopping which was nice. I wanted to buy some clothes and I bought these, I bought these shorts, they're really cute. Plus I also bought a, a crop top which kind of matches but it's dark blue and the final thing I got, wait, it's all in here. I got this feather necklace. Oops, I'll try and focus it. I got this necklace and some presents for people. I also got a little model tuk tuk, which is the cutest thing in the world. It's just a matter of fitting everything into the cases. Yeah, so that was the day. Then we walked back. I was actually tired after walking to the town. It was only a 10 minutes walk. It was quite a nice walk. Got to walk across the train tracks to get there. Yeah, and when we got back, our homestay cooked us a lovely curry and rice where we had loads of dishes. And we were sitting there eating with Everyone else who was staying at the homestay, which was really nice, getting to know people, chatting, socialising. And um, yeah, that's where we're up to. Now it is the next day. Today we are moving to our next place. I can never say where we're going. It's a it's a national park and it's got elephants and it begins with a U. I will write the name down here. Here. And the host has arranged a taxi to pick us up at either 12 or half one. I'm not sure which one it was. He was trying to get it changed, but we had a bit of a lion this morning, so didn't see his messages till just now. But we'll pack up ready in case it is the earlier one. Right now, it's time for breakfast. Oh, and also, today's a lot sunnier. It was raining quite a bit yesterday. So it was like 80% raining. Sometimes it was not. <laughs> Here it is today, all sunny and warm. And this is where we are having our breakfast. Mm -mm -mm. I should probably have my tea before it goes cold. Ooh. I never get tired of that view though.
Might be ours. I think he got hit early and I didn't notice. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got it's even got the yeah. name of the place we're staying at on it. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, we didn't realise you were here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the taxi came at the earlier time of 12, and although we were ready on time, I didn't actually notice the taxi waiting for us for around half an hour, which was embarrassing to say the least. Fortunately, our driver didn't seem to mind, and was in good spirits as he drove us through Ella Town. Are you out of focus? Um, I'm actually starting to think they're mangoes. <laughs> yeah. After all that, I think they were custard apples. Maybe I was just flustered, as I just found out we had to pay to view the waterfall. And some will take the high road, I will go low. There's nothing left behind me, so fire to it all. The fury will fade and the images too. A world without you, that's what I need to do So pardon me while you fade, whoever you used to be And now I won't remember You, you, uh, you don't get to say goodbye Or it's in the pain inside You, you, uh, it's these are the coconuts. Here. Yeah. These ones. Yes. As we neared our destination, our driver recommended we should stop off at a roadside fruit stall for some fresh coconut. Look, she's making it. Yeah. The stall owner cut open a coconut for us. And I got my first taste of Sri Lanka coconut water. <laughs> oh, it was good. I think now I have a new obsession. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, one. <laughs> The grand finale of our drive to Udawalawa was spotting a wild elephant at the side of the Amazing. road. It was a wonderful experience and felt almost surreal. Will I want to go back? Will I ever try? Maybe this is the end, my better paradise. So pardon me while you fade Whoever you used to be And now I won't remember You, you, 
say goodbye or it's in the pain. So here we are, we've arrived. Oh, so cute. This is our place. And here is our room. The main bed, there's a spare bed. Little tea making facilities, sofa, TV. This one's air conditioned. Mm. And then down here. Oh. Oh no. We have the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> and here's our shower. Little sink. Toilet. Yeah, it's all really nice. Really nice place. We also got given this lovely welcome drink, which is lemon and ginger. It's really nice. This is our room. And we got a little friend up here. What a little cutie. You'll die. <laughs> And look at this. This tree here has jackfruit on it, which we tried the other day and it's actually quite nice. They have like a meaty texture when you eat them when they're unripe. Wow, there's just lots of exciting things. Even more. Hello, so we've arrived at our next place. We had a two hour drive from Ella to, wait, I'm gonna give it a go and try and pronounce it. Udawalaway, I think. And on the way here, we stopped off at a waterfall in Ella, the one that we could see from our accommodation called Ravana Waterfall. Then the drive was really nice and scenic. There was a bit of a torrential downpour halfway, but it soon cleared up. And then when we were getting close to our destination, we stopped off at one of the fruit stands at the side of the road. There's like millions of fruit stands everywhere selling fresh fruit. We had a fresh coconut, it was really cool. We saw them prepare it. It cost 80 rupees for one coconut. No, it was cool because our, our driver recommended it. And then, as we were getting close, the national park was on our right. And I was just looking and we saw elephants. Yeah, we actually saw them through, through the national park. I think I saw three elephants in the end. One of them was in, there's like a giant lake towards to one side of the national park and there was an island in it and the elephant was just chilling. He must have swam there. As well as elephants, I saw loads of peacocks and a toucan too, but like, they were so far away and we drove past them so quick I didn't get to get a video of them. But the elephants were pretty cool. We're just spending the afternoon at our beautiful accommodation and then tonight we're having a home cooked dinner and tomorrow in the afternoon we're going to go on safari in Udwalawa National Park and hopefully see lots more animals. They have elephants, buffaloes, crocodiles. There's only 10 leopards so we've not got too high chances of seeing those but I'm still holding my hopes up. So I'll end off the vlog here. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this because we've got a lot more exciting things in store. Please like and comment if you enjoyed. Okay, that's all for now. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Mm, food for the night. And I also got myself a beer. Yummy. Oh,